Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I have a great surprise. The team over at NKLK Toys sent over two more samples. We have the Battle Hog and the Gun Goose. All right, friends, this is the Battle Hog. Before we crack this open, I wanna say thank you to the kind folks over at NKOK Toys. They sent this over as well as the Gun Goose and the Mud Hog for me to review on the channel. So for those of you that don't know much about NKOK Toys, they specialize in all things RC. So they have not only Halo, they have Sonic the Hedgehog, SpongeBob SquarePants, they have stunt vehicles, rock crawlers, just a lot of cool vehicles to their arsenal. The price for this is $33 and you can find this and the rest of their vehicles on Amazon. Of course, I will post all the links in the description below and they even have a wasp coming soon. As we look to the back of this packaging, it shows everything that this battle hawk can do. It has working lights, a turbo booster, range to 100 and 150 feet and multiplayer up to 16 players. It does take six AA batteries, two in the transmitter and four in the hog. All right, here we have it out of the packaging. The sculpting looks great. The paint applications look pretty much identical to what we see within Halo Infinite. We have Master Chief driving this hog, and we also have a blue Spartan manning the turret, and it almost looks like it's Fred, but it's not quite the same armor. On the backhand side, we have our four red gas cans. Very happy that they included those. Now the tires are a uh, softer type of rubber, so there is some give to them, so that should help us go over some more obstacles. And as we make our way to the front of this hawk, you can see there is the tow winch and the two LED lights that are coming off the headlights. It also has the appropriate UNSC logos throughout this body. Just like the Mud Hog, they fully sculpted Chief within this vehicle. So I know a lot of times RC cars, they only like to, you know, sculpt from the torso up. So very happy that we have the entire figure in that driver's seat. Also at the dash, you can see they heavily sculpted this. So there's a lot of like odometers, gauges, there's like a monitor there and some other little sculpting details. And that really adds to the authenticity. And the same thing goes for the passenger side. You can see there is an empty bucket seat for anybody who is brave enough to ride shotgun with Chief. The turret and the Spartan look great. I'm glad that they went with a different colored Spartan with this one compared to the Mud Hog. There's also articulation to this turret. So at the base, we can take it and spin it 360 degrees. And there's also some articulation here at the neck of the turret. So the Spartan's hands seem like they are glued there, but you can remove them. And when you do that, you can allow the turret to look downwards, upwards. So when you move it to the back over here, you can give this Spartan some more character like he's shooting downwards. So that will lead me into measurements. So from front to back, it looks like we are about uh, just at eight inches. And then the length of the wheel is at two inches. And that width brings us to an inch. And the width of the vehicle, we are looking at eh, four and a half inches. Our height brings us to almost five and a half inches. Now for our transmitter, I do prefer this style compared to the trigger one. Um, I just feel like I'm more immersed into the driving of the RC car, if that makes sense. And I also like the design they went with on this. You know, it looks, you know, very reminiscent of a Xbox controller. And with that, we have our on and off switch. We have a boost button there. Left to right is on the right hand side, forwards and backwards is on the left. There is a bulb at the top right here, which will start blinking once you put batteries in there, which means it's looking for the hog. So once you do that, turn on the hog and it will automatically connect. To install the batteries, they recommend you take a pin, push in the button there, and that will open up the battery compartment. And before I let this rip outside, I'm gonna show you a comparison of our World of Halo Warthog. And of course, two different brands, two different scales, they're not gonna be compatible. All right, Spartans, we are ready to ride. Now, it's important to know that since this does run on four AA batteries, it's not gonna have as strong of an output as one of those more beefier rechargeable batteries like the Mud Hog has. But even with these four AA's, this thing can still really move. Now, where this hog really excels is gonna be hardwood floors, concrete blacktop, or just really any hard, flat surface. 
but that doesn't mean I wasn't going to try to take it out on some dirt, and it handled it pretty well. Um, definitely not like the mud hog, but this dirt over here is a little bit more compacted, so I was able to kind of go through it a lot easier than if it was broken up or a lot looser. As you can see, it's going over a lot of this more bumpier terrain, and it can do it. It just takes some acceleration to get up to that point first. So we've seen what this can do during the day. Now let's see how it looks during the night. The lights at the front are very bright, and they seem to have the same amount of power as the Mud Hog, and there's just two LED bulbs there. These lights will stay on the entire time as long as you are moving this hog forward, and it makes a big difference. I mean, it doesn't seem like these little bulbs will do a lot, but honestly, this really lights a big path when you're driving at night. Especially if you live in an area that gets pitch black, these lights really do come in clutch. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up this review and unboxing of the new Battle Hog RC car from NKOK Toys. So again, the price for this is $33 on Amazon. I will post all the links in the description below, as well as the rest of the vehicles that they've released for this Halo Wave. But my overall thoughts on this, if you use it correctly, I think it's a fun piece. It does have some limitations compared to the Mud Hog, but they're both designed differently. So, for example, the Mud Hog is bigger and much beefier than the Battle Hog. I mean, this is basically half the size of the Mud Hog. So, when you take that into consideration, they need a bigger motor, bigger battery, bigger tires to do what this thing is capable of doing, which is going over mud, going over rugged terrain, and lots of big obstacles. Whereas this baby is half the size, so it doesn't need as big of a motor or as big of a battery either. And with that design, it's really going to perform on those hard, flat surfaces. So if you want to take this down the street, set up some cones, some little obstacles, even like some figures around the garage and maneuver it around, bash into those, then this is the perfect vehicle for that. Now, there are some limitations to this. You can drive it through the dirt, but it's got to be more compact. So nothing like sand, or a lot of like loose mud or anything like that, it's not gonna perform well at all. If you're looking for a vehicle to do those things, then I would say go with the Mud Hog. But if you're looking for a vehicle to drive around the house, your office, the nightly walks with your family and kids, then I would say this is the hog for that. When it comes to batteries and RC cars, I do prefer the rechargeable ones. However, I do see the pros of disposable batteries, but when it comes down to it, I would ultimately prefer the rechargeable ones. The runtime for these batteries has been pretty good. I haven't depleted them all the way yet, but I started to notice performance changes around like 40 minutes or so of playtime. When it comes to the transmitter, I do like this. I think they designed it really well, and it does resemble an Xbox controller, so that is a win. The buttons are user-friendly, and the boost button was a nice touch to add that extra acceleration to the hog. But that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. Be sure to find me on Instagram where I do toy photography, toy videos, toy hunts, toy deals, and all things toy related. Link in the description below. If you like this video and you want to see more of it, be sure to like and subscribe. It is free, and I will see y'all in the next video.